Hello everyone, uh, Calvin here again. And uh, yesterday, after I post the uh, quad bearing designed on social media, a lot of people was uh, uh, joined the conversations and then uh, was talking about the quad bearing design versus the three bearing design. The three bearing design is actually better. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, here is my case. So I want to show you guys uh, what is my problem at the beginning and then uh, uh, why I'm doing this quad bearing design and then also uh, the result for this design. This is actually a, a prototype board. Uh, you see the, the press nut is actually not going all the way in compared to the final productions one. The final production one will have all the press nut sink into the carbon fiber board and um, but it's exactly the same the layout is exactly the same and then also the carbon fiber rotations um, orientations is exactly the same so uh, and also the thickness and in here i put on the mitsubi bearing um, this is the mitsubi bearing made from japan and um, I think it's not made from Japan. It's Mizumi is from Japan, but uh, this bearing is made in Vietnam. But overall, uh, on the market, I tested. It. Uh, it's a very very accurate, uh, and the tolerance is very very good. It's very good bearing. So I put on the Mizumi bearing on the uh, original mount, and then this is movement. This is the movement for the tri bearing mount. And then uh, the, the the problem that I'm talking about is the surface movement in like this. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how can I call this. It's the the axis the x axis movement or uh, the z. The z is this way. So I think more is the x movement. So when I'm uh, moving, when I'm just moving. Um, the side in here. I'm not sure it can see in the video. It's a very, very tiny movement that you can see. And this is a brand new bearing and it's very, very tight already. But three bearing, when you move this point, it will just like this. Very, very tiny amount move movement. And then, um, so the time that when I'm trying to fix this problem, I try to buy uh, the bearing. Of, there, there is also a, a, a plastic bearing. I'm not sure what's the name, but I also tried that one. That one is even worse. Uh, and then, uh, so I come up with the idea to, to, to put four bearing on the base. So it's like two bearing on, a, on this side and the other two bearing on this side. And it looks like this, and then uh, it turned out it's actually very very tight on the surface right now. Um, let me change it, and then um, I will show you guys how it looks like. But before I go to the four bearing, I want to use the original bearing. This is the original bearing from the factory. Of course, it's a little bit old, so I want to show you guys how it looks like on the surface, and also the movement in here that I'm talking about. And then after that, I will go with uh, the quad bearing and then uh, show you guys how it looks like. So this is the original tri bearing set up with the original bearing. And uh, this is the movement that I'm talking about, especially on this side. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this out. It's very, very tiny movement. It's not a very big movement, but you can hear the sound that there is a gap between, I think it's probably the bearing is wear out or the bearing is too old. And then it have the gap. So let me change to the Misumi bearing and try it again.
Okay, so this is the Misumi bearing uh, with the th three bearing mount. And it's not as smooth as the original bearing. Maybe the original bearing is kind of like wear out and then it just have more gap. So when you move the base, it's just more, it just feel more free to move it. But this is three bearing. And then uh, with the things, the gap that I'm talking about, uh, the movement on the on the bat, the movement, I still can see it. It's very tiny. This is brand new Misumi bearing. Let me show you from here. And you can still you can still feel it. It's not like hundred percent lock in to the surface. You can still move. Let me zoom in. Okay, so yeah, so this is three bearing. And then let me swap to the four bearing mount and then compare it again. All right, so compared to the original bearing on the, the tried bearing mount, now um, let's put on the, the quad bearing with Mitsubi bearing on the carbon fiber mount and see the movement. So on this surface, it's not as smooth as the tri bearing. And then also, I, I also, at the very beginning, I was very, very worried about the problem that people saying uh, the binding issues, and then also uh, it will wear out the, the rod if the accuracy for the rod is not perfectly lined up. So uh, I, I didn't think too much. I just make the prototype and then I just go ahead and try it out and see how it looks like. So this is the, the result for the movement on Y. It's actually pretty smooth and then I, I didn't expect that at all at the beginning, but it's 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 actually surprised me that it moves very very the movement is very well, and then the problem that I want to fix it's actually gone right now. When I'm trying to move, when I'm trying to move on this surface, I can't see any movement by eye, and I'm not sure if I can take that. Uh, by, I'm not sure if my camera can take that from this guy about the movement that I'm talking about. But on a quad bearing, I can totally move on this surface. At the beginning, I was uh, I was almost go with the the linear real slider, but it's a lot of things you have to do. You have to make the mount, and then also I think the whole the whole uh the whole mount for the heat bat will raise up a little bit and also a lot of things you have to change and it's also pretty expensive so i try to make it easy and simple uh to do this upgrade i think at the beginning i'm not thinking about it's um it's a it's a great idea to go with but after the test result i think it's actually not that bad and that's why i want to share to um, everyone and then um, I think just me testing it testing this product is not uh, is not accurate enough so I, I probably need more people to join and then test together and see what people feel uh, in the community and um, yeah so that will be all for this video to show you guys and then uh, I will keep updating if there's anything new on this on this product. Okay, so have a great day. <laughs> okay, so this is Chris. It, uh, and then we work together in here. And then, uh, so we are trying to uh, let... I'm trying to let Chris to feel this. It's just, just not me, just not myself um, saying the movement. So you... you 
you just touch it yeah. like a couple minutes ago, and I want you to feel the the movement that I'm talking about. There is just a little bit of play. I can feel it. Um, it's not the rods. It's in the bearings. So the there's a little. I can feel metal moving when I push it side to side. And this is exactly bearing that we use uh, for the tri bearing design and the quad bearing design. And this is the move. And also, I want you to feel the movement. Like which one is more smooth? And I know you also like have a 3D printer at home. And uh, do you think like this kind of movement? I mean, like this is, of course, this is a uh, perfect movement because this is original mm -hmm. with the uh, the Misubi bearing. And um, so let's change to sure. the quad one. Can you help me to hold the camera and yeah. I will change it? And I'm thinking maybe some people are gonna say uh, because the front you didn't tie you didn't zip tie it out, so it will have the movement. So we both don't have the zip tie on. So let's see. And when I'm installing it, you have to be very careful because you don't want to uh, break the bearing ball inside. Just so doing this way. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. And, all right. Okay. Give me back my camera. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try it one more time. Yeah, this one just has no wiggle. I don't feel any play at all. Just try sliding around. It's not as smooth as, as the tri bearing, right? Yeah, there's a little more resistance in moving it around, but it's not much. And then it's not enough for me to confidently say there is, so. So what do you think? You're an engineer. Tell me. I'm not an engineer. I just like I just based on my um my feeling yeah. and I make these products and uh it doesn't make sense on the engineering side yeah, well, at all. If your goal was to reduce the the play horizontally, then you definitely achieved it, I think. Um, mm -hmm. you know, if you wanted to really test it out, I would make a three bearing yeah. version of this carbon fiber plate and yeah. really make sure that way. Yeah. So you think it's probably the, the the material differences it could be the material difference um, the only way to really find out is to make this three bearing design with carbon fiber and then test that yeah but i mean with what you have so far it, it really does look like because people was people was talking fiber. about the, the the binding issue for the quad bearing design and that's why pusa they go with the three bearing design yeah. and then uh it makes sense right because yeah. if you're if your alignment um, for this two rod, like for example, this 3D print part yeah, mount, it's, it's, it's not odd. accurate. It'll get stuck or it'll just... It won't, yeah. But here's another question. If this is not accurate, even you use three bearing, is that going to create the same problem? For example, like if I move this yeah. point left, like one centimeter, it, it will still pre... Picture, but I think it'll still... Because these bearings aren't points. They're, uh, they have width. If it was a single point, well, I don't know. No, because the, the horizontal distance is fixed. Yeah. But then the plate would just rotate so that it would still work, still move. But yeah, so since these bearings have width, I really don't think the, the binding thing is a, is like going to be absolutely removed on three point. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to, um, to explain to people is, I think that the tolerance on on this mount mm -hmm. it's very important. Yeah. As long as you can keep uh, this two bearing that line up perfectly, mm -hmm. then it shouldn't create a big problem for the the binding issue. Because um, if this two and this two they are all line up perfectly, then it's it's gonna define yeah. two rod perfectly lined up. And if you have problem on um, the mount, right? Yeah. It will actually uh, squeeze a little bit, but you can feel it. Like when you go to some point, you will be, yeah. you will feel the resistance. Yeah. But in here, I think the the Pusa three D print part is 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 pretty good. It's very accurate. Mm -hmm. So when I'm tried on a different side, it actually feels the same. I didn't feel the differences. Yeah, no, not much different. Yeah. 
one more thing I want to make sure that we cover in the video. So I know people probably were saying, when you install the bearing, you have to do it in the right way. You know how to do it in the right way? You, you keep these loose. Right? No, no, no. Oh. It, the oh, the yeah. positions of the bearing you oh. see there is a There's the balls. The ball. Them. So that's that's that's. I'm always uh, put it into the first things. I will check. or make sure all the bearing is lined up this way. I'm not sure if this is correct. I have no clue. Right. You want the bearing. I mean, you it, it you distributes want the weight across two sets of bearing of balls rather than. Yeah, you want to have it sitting on both sides. Yeah. And then like a forty-five degree angle, so it can pick up all the weight. Yeah, I mean that sound that that seems reasonable. Okay. That's how I would install it. Do you do you um do you keep these screws loose, and then tighten them after the plate's on? I actually install the bearing first. So these are fixed. Yes. Before you install them. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Okay, so... What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean... We could talk about the engineering differences between 3-point and 4-point as much as we want, but we've... Kelvin's made a 4-point, and it seems to work great, and it took out all of the horizontal play. So, I mean, practically it works. There's no binding issues. And also, there's one more thing I want to bring up. Yeah. There is some people making a a linear rail slider, you know, that kind of yeah, slider things. Yeah. And the wheel. Yeah. It's not a wheel. It's like a, a block and then putting on a, a slider. Like, uh, like aluminum extrusion looking thing? I think it's metal. Huh? The bore is on the side. There is like two. Yeah. yeah. Picture. yeah so it, it's basically a kit for people to up. To, to, to upgrade and then using the original uh, tri uh, bearing style and then they mount two block in here and one block in here and then uh, it comes with the, the real weight you have to put on both sides so if, if the accuracy is wrong on on this two side or the other two side even you use that uh, the real slider it will still have the, the binding issues that we are talking about right yeah. If like this two is too narrow and then this two is wider, then when you go to that way, you will be have a resistance, and go to this way, you will have another resistance on the outside. If I mean, if if we had an imaginary, if these were imaginary single points, mm -hmm. and and then we had a three point, and one of the rods is off, if you moved it to the narrower side, this plate would just rotate. Yeah. To 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 uh, you know keep the triangle. Yeah. Um, but since these linear rods are have width, it wouldn't be able to do that. It wouldn't, the plate wouldn't be able to rotate, so it would just bind it. So yeah. Okay. So all right. I'm not an engineer, but uh, somehow I probably I just lucky. Uh, it works on my side. And then uh, one more thing. Every time when you guys changing bearing or like taking out the rod when you put it back, microfiber towel, clean it up. Don't leave any dust to get into the bearing. Right? That makes yes. sense. Huh? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.